हे हाय वेलकम टू केट्स ऑलैप होप यू ऑल आर गोइंग वेल हैप्पी नवरात्रि टू ऑल ऑफ यू मे माँ दुर्गा ब्लेस यू विद द गुड हेल्थ एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू मे आवर हॉलीडे होमवर्क विच इज बेस्ड ऑन द आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट और द कलरफुल एक्टिविटी होप यू ऑल विल एन्जॉय दिस वन फॉर डूइंग सो लेट स्टार्ट इट फॉर दिस एक्टिविटी वी नीड मैथ्स कॉपी कलर पेपर्स जेमोट्री बॉक्स ब्लू सीजर एंड स्केच पेन्स फॉर दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पुट द मार्जिन फ्रॉम ऑल द फोर साइड्स एज यू नो दिस वन इज द कलरफुल एक्टिविटी सो काइंडली पुट द मार्जिन विद द स्केच पेन्स इंस्टेड ऑफ स्केच पेन यू कैन यूज द वॉक्स कलर इफ यू आर डूइंग द प्रोजेक्ट इन योर क्लास वर्क और होमवर्क का वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एन एंड डू नॉट स्किप दिस वीडियो मैथ्स कैन ऑल्सो वे फन एज यू नो दैट सो दिस इज दिस टाइम इफ यू गेट द चांस टू मेक एनी प्रोजेक्ट फॉर द मैथमेटिक्स काइंडली डू इट कलरफुल ओके बिकॉज मैथ्स इज नॉट एज बोरिंग एज यू थिंक ओके इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी फन लविंग सो डू दैट so as it is the first activity so we will give the heading that activity 1 you can use any color paints you can use any color papers it is not mandatory that whatever the colors i have chosen you have to choose that one use your own creativity and do this so here as you know that our first project name is draw or paste the following figures and draw all possible lines of symmetry so this project or this activity is related to our geometry part so kindly do in the geometry copy it will be useful to you later on you can check all those uh, activities also okay and uh, draw is also there but as we are going to paste it over here so we will paste okay i have written here paste the following figures and draw all possible lines of symmetry this one is going to be very interesting first of all what is called lines of symmetry it means this is the horizontal or vertical line exactly which makes the figure divide into two equal parts okay so as in our first figure is the star so here i have taken the yellow color paper you can choose any color as i have already told you so first of all for the star we need to draw the two triangles one is the straight one another one is the inverted one okay and it is shown in the video exactly do like that the another triangle should be inverted and cross to the first triangle after drawing this one in this paper you can cut it from the lines only because you have a pair of scissor you can use it over there and draw all the figures with a visible size okay and do not make any of this activities with the smaller smaller figures it will not visibly uh, properly visible okay so now it's time to cut it from the sides if this video is useful to you it will also be useful to your friends so who don't know about this channel so kindly share this one to your friends so that they will also follow that one and with the step by step instruction they can do this and if you are new to my channel then kindly support me with your love uh, with kindly uh, subscribe this one and also press the bell icon for further notification and uh, i am doing it uh, during this navratri uh, with my fasting and all so i request all of you kindly uh, turn white thumb blue so it's time for pasting so just apply the glue on its back side and then paste over if you want a perfect star also you can do that one you can draw the two equilateral triangle exactly or else you can do like this okay so paste it firmly and after pasting it also if some glues will stick to your fingers then kindly wipe it up with the papers or any cloth now draw the lines of symmetry so from vertex to vertex we are going to draw the lines because each line will divide the star with the exactly half yes that is correct 
and then from the corner to corner you can see that one also you can join those as this one is the only fun loving uh, project or the activity so you can do randomly so let's see that how many lines of symmetry we have drawn it here that is the one you can see two three four five and six rest of all all the six are going to be repeated okay so all total six lines of symmetry we could find it here and the figure name is star so we are going to write it there this is the first figure now let's go for the second figure which is about the rectangle but before that draw the segments yes whenever we are doing say, any activity we should maintain some neatness cleanliness and also some discipline so here i have put the margins also you do the same and then the another segment so that we can do the next picture so our second figure is that rectangle and you people know that what is called rectangle a uh, geometrical figure it is a two dimensional figure whose the longer part is called the length and the shorter part is called the breadth so here uh, you can take any color paper and just fold them straight so that you can get the another rectangular piece and then take the measurement of the place where you are going to paste it okay if it is not of that measurement you can minimize that one likewise i have done it here okay and then we will cut it with the length and also with the breadth now apply some glue on the back side of it and paste it over the space now it's time for drawing the lines of symmetry rectangle is done here take the ruler and also the black color paint so first the vertical one we are going to do exactly in its middle part you can draw the vertical dotted line and also horizontally another one then only they can look exactly with the two rectangles so here it is having only one and two lines of symmetry and it is the rectangle the next figure it has been given for the butterfly for this we will draw this one okay then we will color it so i have drawn it at first with the pencil and then with the black color sketch pen you can do any kind of butterfly whatever you know that one it will also develop your art skill and it will make you or uh, help you to do the practice and drawing so here let's do the butterfly at first now it's time to draw the lines of symmetry and it is having only one lines of symmetry that one is the vertical one next go for the next one that is for the square there is a third one and here i have taken the help of this yellow color paper so first of all fold it with a rectangular shape then from its one vertex exactly coincide with its one side okay and then fold it you can see that you can have one triangle here so first let's cut them up to this then we can get the perfect square now you can see here we didn't get any of the perfect space so now fold this tri triangle again to the next one so that we can get the next crease and this one is the breadth part or the side part of the square 
so that we can get that all the sides as equal and which will be called as a square i have already told you that how to take out a square from a rectangular sheet of paper and again and again i am showing you so here you can see that with the one crease this is divided exactly with the two equal triangles so this is one lines of symmetry by folding let me tell you then again if you will fold it in the other way that joining their other two vertices then you will get what another two equal triangles and another one lines of symmetry that is from corner to corner and then here you can see that and then vertically once again if you will fold them exactly into the half you are going to get the two equal rectangles and horizontally also if you are going to fold them you will get uh, another two equal rectangles so these are also the two lines of symmetry it means in a square there are all total four lines of symmetry see here two from the corner and two from the sides so now it's time for applying the glue on its back side and paste it over the given space now it's time for drawing the line segments so here it is one one vertical another one horizontal and from the two corners so total four lines of symmetry a square has Now for the next figure we are going to draw the triangle as you know that how to draw the triangle we just need to coincide one side of its breadth or the side to the other side and then we just need to fold it over here you can find it out that uh, this one is the triangle okay now apply some glue on its back side and paste it over the space as you know that there are so many types of triangles like three on the basis of its side the first one is the scalene triangle whose none of the sides are equal so definitely it is not going to have any single lines of symmetry it is absolutely have only zero lines of symmetry isosceles triangle whose two sides are equal so at that uh, case we can have only one line of symmetry and if it is equilateral triangle then only we can have the three lines of symmetry because from all the sides it is equal so here first of all measure that the sides and uh, if you are going to measure it it is about 5.2 this side other side also 5.2 so still now it is an isosceles triangle so let's check this one no it is cross to 7 it means this one is isosceles triangle so here we can do only one thing we will draw the lines of symmetry by putting only one vertical one so that we will get the two equal triangles here you can see that if you will fold it you can get the two equal triangles with one line of symmetry and that one is the vertical now so this one is only one and this is a triangle for the next one and this is the last one that we need to draw a circle okay for the circle as you know that how to draw this this one is very easy you can use uh, you can take the help of a rounder or compass or your bangles or else you can use any bottle caps also or any rounder objects also you can do that so here i am not going to use this uh, rounder or this bangle okay so if you have gone to any of the places also you can do this project for this i am going to use the bottle caps so let's do that 
So here I have used one cap of my cosmetic product and I will press it over this one and then I will just draw the outline with the pen. Apply the glue on its back and the back side and paste the cut out on the given space. Now it's time to draw the lines of symmetry. So you know that its lines of symmetry means the line which pass through exactly through its center. And any line segment which is passing through exactly through its center is called the diameter. And each diameter of a circle exactly divides the circle into the two equal halves. So here you can see that one, two, three, and four. This all these diagonals are going to equally divide the circle into two equal halves so you can draw so many diagonals according to this and also we know that through one point so many line segment or rays or lines can pass through it means a circle has infinite number of lines of symmetry so here without doing any clumsy one and more of the lines of symmetry here this much we will do just things and we will write here infinite number of lines of symmetry it is having. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you like this video then please share with your friends and turn white thumb blue. This is the second time that I am going to tell you. Happy Navratri to all of you. Bless you all. Bye bye.